Hey guys, it's Risa. Welcome to my kitchen. I hope you're doing great. Today I'm going to teach you, of course, one of my easiest recipes, my dill flavored salmon. Okay, super easy and quick. You just bake it for about 17 to 20 minutes and you'll have delicious dill salmon. Okay, so before I teach you this really easy recipe that's low fat and of course high protein and delicious, I just want to remind you guys to please ring the bell option so you don't miss any of my videos, okay? Like, comment, share, ask me questions. I love when you post my recipes on my group, my Facebook group, Weight Watcher Tips and Recipes by Risa, okay? And of course, sharing is caring. So tell anybody on a journey to please subscribe to my channel. All right. And it doesn't matter what they're doing. It doesn't matter if you're on intermittent, Weight Watchers, um, keto, paleo, whatever it is, and whatever is working for you, that's what's important. It doesn't matter what other people do. It's what's important for you to do. Okay, so that's my tip. Do what's good for you, people. And um, I just made this amazing Italian frittata. Um, doesn't that look yummy? And I made cucumber salad. So check out my videos. And... Um, you know, there's so many different recipes that I have for brunch, breakfast, lunch. I don't know why I started with brunch. Uh, dinner, snacks, desserts for holidays, for all occasions, my podcasts. Okay, about my journey and my tips, motivation, grocery shopping, you name it. Lots and lots. Okay, so what are you going to need? You're going to need a nice big piece of salmon. I was lucky it was on sale. I got this at my grocery store and for this huge piece, I only paid $16. I know, usually I pay a lot more, um, but I like buying it when it's nice and fresh and use it up. I used to freeze it. You can buy it already vacuum packed pieces, which is fine. Um, again, I just like to have it fresh. I make a lot and then I eat it for a few days or my daughter will share it with me. And, uh, and then you don't have to think about it. It's already made. You can cook all of it at once or marinate it, leave it in your fridge, and then each day make a few, a, a piece or two. All right. So, I, and of course, leave it in your fridge in a sealed container once you do make it. And, uh, once you finish making it, you will, um, definitely want to eat it right away. Um, tonight I'm making um, some Brussels sprouts roasted and I have a squash in the oven. Okay. And that's going to be my dinner tonight. So I just take some garlic powder and some onion powder and some Himalayan salt and of course some pepper. The other thing that I use is this lighthouse dill dip. Okay, so one tablespoon, two tablespoons, it's up to you. I use two tablespoons and those of you following WW, it's five smart points for all of it. I like a good amount of sauce on it, all right? And I like to use like a little brush to brush it on. So I'm just going to, before I cut it, I'm just gonna sprinkle on, and that's all I do is I just sprinkle on. I don't really measure, so I'd say about one and a half teaspoons or so of some garlic powder. And then I just take some onion powder because I like things seasoned well. And you can marinate this in advance, leave it in your fridge. Again, about, you know, a teaspoon and a half or one or two. Again, just sprinkle it on, you'll, you'll see it's enough, okay? And then I'd like to just take a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. Put that on, sprinkle just a little bit of pepper, just a little, and if you don't like that, you don't have to use it. Um, I just take some parchment paper and put it on a cookie sheet so it doesn't stick. And actually, I'm going to um, put my sauce on now. 
and then I'll cut it. So I'm just going to spread that on. I like lots of sauce. And it's really, it almost gets like a crust after when you've baked it, okay? And this is a huge piece. So you might be making just an individual piece. And if you are, you'll use less sauce, okay? All right. And I'm going to cut it. I like to usually do both sides. So I'm just going to cut this into pieces. I get nice, full, like about four pieces. And I'm going to, sometimes it's hard to cut the skin. So I just take the scissors and finish it off. So that's one, two, and you can weigh them out too if you, you know, want to have a certain amount of ounces, usually about four to six ounces, but sometimes they're a little bit bigger, sometimes they're a little bit smaller. This is how you get your workout, my friends going to cut the rest. It's sticking just at the ends. Okay. And I like to put a little bit on the back too. Just see, just so you see on the skin, even though I don't eat the back of the skin, I just like some, just a little bit to make sure I get the sides and the back. So I'm just doing the sides too. Now that I've cut it, and a little bit on the back. And then you haven't missed any part of the fish. Okay. And then just with the rest of it, I'll just go over it. And if you have fresh dill, which I don't have, um, you can sprinkle a little bit of that over the top. And I've already preheated my oven. And I'm going to put it in for about 17 minutes. Look at that. Does not look good. And I love to sprinkle a little bit of fresh dill. Unfortunately, I forgot to buy it. So um, lesson learned. Make sure that you write it down so you don't forget. And I'll be back to show you how this looks once it is baked. So you'll check it after about 15, 17 minutes. And sometimes some pieces are a little bit thicker, so you might need to put it in for a couple of more minutes. You'll check. I usually like to just put a little um, knife mark in the middle and you can see if it's a nice light pink color. Okay, and I'll be back to show you. Hey guys, I'm back and here's the delicious fish. I just want to bring it up nice and close so you can see. Um, yes, that was my dinner. Um, I couldn't wait. I'm sorry. And I uh, left over a piece just to show you how nice and light pink the middle is. Okay. So um, I kept it in for 20 minutes because the salmon is quite thick. I'll just show you. Again, some of the pieces are quite thick. And... Uh, you just cut a little um, piece in the middle, okay, with a knife, and you can check. But usually between 17 and 20 minutes is perfect. If you cook it any longer, it's going to dry out, and you want it to be moist, okay, and flavorful. And I made some um, squash. I had roasted some squash, so I had a half a piece with a piece of salmon. And I was going to make Brussels sprouts, but I had leftover veggies from the other night. And I don't like to waste anything. So um, it was a really nice rounded meal with my protein and my squash and my, my steamed vegetables for dinner. So that's an idea that you guys can make with your salmon. Of course, you can have it with anything. Rice, pasta, low carb if you want. Uh, zucchini noodles, a stir fry, okay, um, a baked potato, smashed potatoes, 
you know, you can find lots of my recipes on my channel. So I hope you enjoy your delicious dill salmon and uh, tell me what you think. All right. Mwah. Bye for now.